Hey, what's up guys, Mitch HD here. Today I will be going through the in-flight February 2017 new releases. Um, I'm on easytwist.com, go check them out. Just before we get into this, um, I hope you have been enjoying uh, last sort of couple of um, airshow videos. I have a few of them remaining. Uh, next up will be a F-16 uh, display. So um, please check that out uh, if you're interested. And anyway, let's get into this. So I think we have 17 new models by in-flight. And we'll start off here with the Policia Federal Mexico. So Mexican Federal Police. Uh, 727200, really good looking aircraft. It's a uh, black livery. Um, registrations XE FPA. Yeah, very good looking aircraft this one. But not one, um, not really one for me. A Monarch A330-200, registration G-E-O-M-A. -E -E okay. Again, not a bad looking aircraft, but it's not one I want. Continental Airlines 72, sorry, 707 or the Boeing 720. Registration is in 57202. Nice uh, classic here. Golden Jet, I like that. Sabina 747 uh, 100. Registration OOSGB. Then we have the, um, uh, I can't remember what they're called again, um, but they're dual livery uh, hybrid, that's it. Hybrid uh, Viasa and KLM, 747-200, registration is PHBUG. So obviously owned by KLM, and um, it's to represent the, the partnership between Viasa and KLM. Kind of like Northwest and KLM. Venezuela, so that's where they're based. Aerolineus Argentinus 747SP, registrations LVOHV. Not a bad looking aircraft, but not one I want. Thai, 777-300ER, uh, HSTKY, I'm not even going to try pronouncing that aircraft name because it was uh, way too difficult for me, but uh, yeah, it's a beautiful aircraft. Right, now this is one that there's going to be a lot of debate about, um, not on the release, but on the livery. I like how Air Canada have brought some some retro back. However, I think they've tried to do a bit too much, and it's sort of taken away from Royal, uh, what it really is. Um, you know, they may have to slightly modernize it a little bit, um, but apart from that, I, I, I think they've done too much. And uh, it's not. I think the more basic, the better, in 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 a way for for this livery because it didn't need it or any of the extra stuff on it. it just it just needed um, pretty much what they had before. So um, I'm I'm sitting right on the fence with it. I love how they brought it back, but then again, you know I don't like the extra bits of the livery. Anyway. Air Canada 787-8, registration C G H P Q. And of course this is their new livery. Alright. To be honest, I actually very, very much like the 
ice blue. Um, a lot of people don't. Um, a lot of Canadians don't. I I, I like it to a certain degree because um, you know the ice blue. You know it's Canada snow. You got the maple leaf, which is a massive symbol of Canada on there, and I think represents quite Canada uh, represent Canada quite nicely. But I do really like the retro livery. So either way, I'm I'm not too fast. Lot Polish 787-8 registrations SPLRD. Pretty good looking aircraft. I have JC Wings version, I think. Um, so yeah, don't need this one. ONA DC10-30 registrations in 1034F. Overseas National Airways. Our aircraft name is Holiday Liner Liberty. So we've got some GE engines. Yeah. Pretty basic delivery. Li Libyan Arab Airlines. Uh, Lockheed Jetstar. L1329. Registration is 5ADAJ. Never heard of this airline. Um, but yeah, it's just another basic livery, basic, you know, from like the 80s. So yeah. And up to the last six models United States Air Force, Lockheed, Jetstar C 140. So this is the militarized version. Registration is 59-5962. Yeah, it looks doesn't look too bad. Latum A350-900 Limited. All right. Um. So this is the. This is the second, in the Latum colors. Um. Phoenix were the first. JC Wings are uh, wait did JC Wings release it? I'm not even sure. Um, there's been so many releases I I, I can barely remember. Um, but I don't if if JC Wings has released it, it's only pre order I don't don't believe they have though. Um, but I might be wrong. Registration PRXTE. Anyway, it's a uh, not a bad looking aircraft. Um, although yeah, I mean. I did prefer Tam's livery on the A350, it made the A350 look better, but um, it's not not overall bad. It's it's something decent. Still, I'd still get it, um, but I'd wait for JC Wings or Gemini Jets, whoever's first out of those two. Air Caribbees, I, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Um, A350 900 registrations FHHAV. Uh, now. Gemini Jets just released their hints, and I believe that this may be released in in um, Gemini Jets' releases coming up next week. And um, so I'm going to wait for it anyway. I don't really want A350s um, by anybody else apart from uh, Gemini and JC Wings. So I'll wait for that. Um, if it's not next week, it'll be the release afterwards. But I believe from the hints, it suggested that there was one. Right, so there's the French flag because um, uh, they are a what do you call them territory? I guess um, the w w where they're based. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where they're based, but the, where they're based is a territory of France, which is also why they get A350s and why they have A330s right now. Because um, when you have that tie up, you tend to go for the country that has. Um, those aircraft, or pro at least produces those aircraft. Uh, Concorde British Airways registration is GBBDG, and the old this is the Landor colours. Um, very good looking aircraft. I'm not sure if I should get it because um, Gemini Jets did a great job with the Air France one. I'm still waiting on the British Airways one. Uh, the you know the um, what do you call it? The um, 
uh, the ribbon ribbon livery. Um, I'm still still waiting on that one. So um, I may get it, but if I do, I'll probably just wait for JC Wings or Gemini Jets. Olympic Airways Comet 4. Registration is SXDAL. Comet is a very nice looking aircraft. Registration, sorry, aircraft name is Queen Olga. What always fascinated me is that tail fascinated me is that tail because it's not conventional. Um, you know, it, it, it's just literally a mountain. And both sides sweep um, to towards the top. They don't sort of sweep in the same direction. They sweep opposite directions towards the top. Um, it's always fascinated me, really. And last one is the Royal Air Force. Comet DH-106 um, that's the militarized version um, registration number XR397 and I think this one looks a little bit better so Royal Air Force Air Support Command and yeah not bad at all alright so this is it for this release now um, you know there are some fast, fantastic models here uh, ones I would probably consider if they were bought, if, sorry, if they were released by anyone else, is Monarch, Thai, Air Canada, um, Later May 350, Air Caribbean's A350, and possibly the Concorde if they're released by the others. Um, however, the Thai, I, you know, I know that was released before by Gemini, but you know, re-release would be good. But um, I will really have to think about the really have to think about the Concorde and possibly the Monarch A330 because the other ones um, apart from Thai because I'm not too fast if I get Thai or not but Air Canada, Latum, Air Caribbees they will be released by Gemini Jets or JC Wings so it's not too big of a deal um, about getting these anyway uh, that aside I hope you have enjoyed please leave a like if you if you did um, comment tell me what you think of these models tell me which ones you're going to get subscribe for more lots of um, plane spotting videos to come up and then I'm going to jump straight back into those reviews and also share this video as well so that people know about these new releases and see if they want to get them as well anyway thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next